The Sydney Opera House is recognised as one of the important buildings of the 20th century. Tourists come from all over the world to admire Johann Hudson's architectural masterpiece. The most outstanding features of the building are its shells that act both as roof and side walls at the same time. The shell structure is a series of concrete ribs. The cladding consists of chevron-shaped precast concrete lids, complete with tiles, which are bolted to the ribs. The joints between the lids were waterproofed with a mastic sealant. There are approximately 18,000 lineal metres of these joints in the roof. As part of a 10-year upgrade programme, the New South Wales Public Works Department investigated the condition of this waterproofing system, which by then had been in position for 22 years. It was noted that the sealant showed signs of severe deterioration and many of the tiles were cracked. The roof shell arches had to be built as a lightweight structure and therefore it has minimal cover to the reinforcement. In order to investigate possible deterioration due to water ingress or carbonation, a previously installed access hatch to one of the arches was reopened and the interior of that particular shell rib examined. It became obvious that water was penetrating through the joint sealant as evidenced by stains on the cross bracings and by ponding water in the bottom of the rib. It was necessary to investigate other shell ribs, but preferably without cutting additional holes in the roof. An ingenious system of screw jacks was devised, enabling the sliding of the top lids upwards, thus opening up a gap suitable for access. Investigations then showed that water penetration was extensive, and in a few instances minor corrosion of the reinforcement had started. However, it was also found that in general, chloride and carbonation levels were still not critical. By effectively stopping the water penetration, the interior structure could be safely preserved for a long period. A contract was let for the design of special access equipment and tools, and for the resealing of the tile joints with a more up-to-date sealant. The final selection was a polyurethane product, Tremco Dimeric. A roof access system was erected and two sizes of work cradles were lifted into position. The cradles provided a work platform for workers, tools and material. First, the old sealant and backing gasket had to be removed. This was achieved by using modified jigsaws. Then the joint had to be prepared by grinding smooth, followed by priming. A backing rod was carefully placed to the right depth using special tools. Every phase of this process was rigorously checked by public works inspectors. After inspection, the joints were ready for the sealant. The dimeric was gunned in and tooled to a uniform smooth finish. The contract to carry out the 18,000 metres of jointing was completed in three years and the special access equipment was removed in February 1995. It is anticipated that this jointing will keep the roof waterproof for the next 20 years.